Welcome to the fourth installment of our weekly Hot Prospects Report, ranking the top minor league performances from the week of May 1st through 7th. Number one, Yuri Perez, right-handed pitcher, Marlins, AA Pensacola. Perez turned in back-to-back gems against Mississippi last week, striking out 11 in five innings on Tuesday and finishing up with nine strikeouts in six innings on Sunday, touching 100 miles per hour on his final pitch. The 6'8", 200-pounder allowed just two hits and one run in each game, combining for a 20-3 to strikeout-to-walk ratio in 11 innings. The 20-year-old lowered his ERA to 2.32 with an 0.81 whip over his first six starts. Perez is repeating the level after posting a 4.08 ERA over 75 innings last year, having his season cut short by a strained lat muscle. With excellent command, an elite fastball, and three other pitches with a chance to be plus offerings, Perez is the number one pitching prospect in our top 500 rankings. The Marlins stand at 17-18, and 18, just one game out of the third wildcard spot, and tied with the Mets for second in the NL East so they could opt to push Perez to Miami in the near, very near future if they want to take a shot at contending for a playoff spot this year. If not, the Marlins could slow roll Perez through AAA and cap his innings at like 110, then give him a shot to make the team out of spring training next year. Either way, he gives Marlins fans plenty to be excited about. Number two, Mason Wynn, shortstop Cardinals, AAA Memphis. Wynn entered May batting just 224 with a 610 OPS, but the 21-year-old gave those numbers a boost with a big week, a triple slash of 417, 548, 875. He hit three homers on the week, including a two-dinger game on Friday to go with three steals. Wynn's 80-grade arm and elite athleticism make him a more natural fit at shortstop in St. Louis than Tommy Edmond, who could be pushed over to second base once Wynn is ready. The 54th overall pick in 2020 out of Kingwood High School in Texas, Wynn is developing the power that could combine with his base stealing, 54 steals in 152 games since the start of last season, to make a top-notch shortstop in fantasy. Number three, Noelvi Marte, shortstop third base, Reds, AA Chattanooga. Marte followed up a two-homer game on Thursday with a walk-off home run on Friday to complete a combo meal. The 21-year-old finished the week with another dinger on Sunday to finish with a triple slash of 417, 481, 958 to go with four homers, 11 RBIs, and a steal in six games. The 6-foot, 216-pounder has drawn some concern in prospect circles by filling in so much that it seems a foregone conclusion that he will wind up at third base. The bat should still play just fine at a corner, as Marte has an 842 OPS with 5 homers and 6 steals in 26 games this season. If he can maintain some of his base stealing ability, Marte could be a force in fantasy playing half his games in Great American Ballpark. Number 4, Marcelo Meyer, shortstop, Red Sox, High A Greenville. The fourth overall pick in the 2021 draft, Meyer had his coming out party last week by going 16 for 31 for a 516 average with three homers, six doubles, 12 RBIs, a steal, and a thousand slugging percentage. The 20 year old now has a triple slash of 337, 414, 582 with four homers and four steals. The 6 foot 2, 188 pounder is partially repeating the level, having played 25 games for Greenville last year, so he should be making the jump to double A soon. Meyer has drawn comps to Corey Seeger as a left handed power hitting shortstop without much speed, but he's 28 for 31 in stolen base attempts in 140 minor league games. Number 5, Justin Durden, outfield, Astros, Triple A, Sugarland. Durden entered the month batting 192 and started last week with an 0 for 5 to drop to 181 before finishing with homers in four straight games. The 25-year-old piled up 10 total bases on Friday with three doubles and a dinger. For the week, the 6'3", 209-pounder batted 500 with a 1711 OPS and 15 RBIs, although take it with a grain of salt as it came in the hitter's paradise of Albuquerque. It's been an impressive ascent for Durden, who went unselected in the five-round 2020 draft out of southeastern Missouri State, signed as a non-drafted free agent by Houston, then quickly moved up the ladder to reach AAA last year. He combined for 24 homers and 12 steals last year between double and AAA. 
The Astros have a logjam of young outfielders, so he could wind up trade bait if he doesn't get a chance to cement a role in Houston soon. Number six, Kyron Paris, second base shortstop, Angels, Double A Rocket City. Finally healthy, Paris is breaking out in the Southern League, putting up a 902 OPS with eight homers and nine steals in 26 games. The 21-year-old picked up steam this past week by smacking three homers with seven walks and five steals, posting a 565 OBP and a 938 slugging percentage. Drafted 55th overall in, the, in 2019 out of Freedom High School in California, Paris played just 50 games in his first three seasons due to a broken hammock, a broken tibia, and the pandemic. The 6-foot, 180-pounder needs to cut down on his 31.4% strikeout rate. But if he does, then Paris could find himself in Anaheim by season's end since the Angels have shown they aren't afraid to push their top prospects. Number 7, Joey Cantillo, left-handed pitcher, Guardians, AA Akron. Cantillo piled up 13 strikeouts in five one-hit innings on Wednesday to earn a win over Portland. The 23-year-old is repeating the level after a shoulder injury limited him to just 60 and two-thirds innings last year for Akron, where he dominated with a 193 ERA and 87 strikeouts. This season, he's been even better, posting a minuscule 0.55 ERA with a 25-8 to strikeout-to-walk ratio in 16 and a third innings so he should be headed to AAA Columbus in the near future. The 6'4", 225-pounder has seen his velocity tick up to sit 92 miles per hour and touch 97 since being taken in the 16th round in 2017 out of Kailua High School in Hawaii. The fastball is now an above-average pitch to go with his plus change, giving the Guardians yet another pitching development success story for their loaded system. Number 8. Kumar Rocker, right-handed pitcher, Rangers, High A Hickory. Rocker has impressed in his pro debut, compiling a 2.70 ERA over his first five starts, but the 23-year-old had his best outing on Friday when the 6'5", 245-pounder struck out eight in six one-hit innings to beat Jersey Shore. Rocker was plagued by command problems on his fastball in the Arizona Fall League last year, walking 12 and 14 innings. The third overall pick in the 2022 draft appears to have fixed that, walking just six while racking up 37 strikeouts in 23 and a third innings for Hickory. It looks like Rocker is ready to join his former Vanderbilt teammate Jack Leiter in AA Frisco. Number nine, David Hamilton, second base shortstop, Red Sox, AAA Worcester. Hamilton hit homers in his first two games of the week, then stole six bases in his next three and finished the week with a 556 OBP and 810 slugging percentage. The 25-year-old infielder has added power with a 557 slug while cutting his strikeout rate from 22.4% last year to 16.9% this season. Now might be a good time for Boston to give Hamilton a look at shortstop with Kike Hernandez struggling there. Considering Hamilton has 20 steals already this season after pilfering 70 last year in AA, Fantasy owners need to take notice of a potential difference-making call-up that could be on the horizon. Number 10, Ethan Wilson, outfield, Phillies, AA Reading. Wilson started out with a game-winning homer in the 11th inning to complete a combo meal on Tuesday and wound up the week batting 480, 12 for 25, with three homers, three doubles, 11 RBIs, and a steal. The 23-year-old outfielder came into the season having disappointed since being drafted 49th overall in 2021 out of South Alabama, batting 215 and 235 in his first two seasons with 11 combined homers. The 6-foot, 200-pounder missed a week in April with a foot injury, but this torrid stretch puts him up to a 1191 OPS with 5 homers in 14 games. Wilson has plus power and stole 26 bases last year, giving him the ceiling of a 2020 corner outfielder, so we'll be moving him back into our next weekly updated Roto Prospects Top 500 rankings.